From what I saw though, Shogi was playing a, like a little bit sloppy overall. Um, his conversions weren't quite, weren't quite as crispy as they usually are, so he's probably gonna like recollect himself and see whoever it is in grants. Because like th that's just how it goes. That that, that does happen. I, like think that, yeah. I think that Shogi of the players here can actually do really well in yeah. making losers run. He he rarely gets um, demoralized by like things that might happen. Mm -hmm. And that's also a really good quality, like for being one of the it, best it's difficult. In it, it's the difficult region as well, like doing well in winners and losers. Yeah, I definitely struggle with like keeping my morale up, and like so I really respect Shogi for that. All right, I need to hop off and find a control. I'll probably get back later. All right, take care of Alright, what is Semi's between Spam Cop, Sheep, and Travis? On the Bowser. This matchup is, uh, I'm not using the word Volatile, but I'll use the word Volatile just for this. Um, very much so. Because Bowser cannot land at all, it's going to take a lot of percent. Sheik is very light, and just a few conversions do a lot of percent for Bowser. So either one of these two can die in just a few neutral exchanges. I think that's the best way to describe it, really. And Travis is in the control right now. 80% to 31. Gets the opening on the whip for the punish. The balloon foils his plan. Nice punish on the F-tilt on Jewel. Travis taking that first off really nicely. Back up, trying to keep him up there. Toss him back up there with a back throw. Sends a little bit there. And Tra Travis gets his punish there. Really good that Travis is waiting there. Pivot grab, damage. I wanted to see Travis carry him further to the uh, platform, but not going to happen there. The Koopa Quell once again has to respect that and go toward the stage, and they both actually hold Kel to the left. That was interesting. Like, I saw the distance on there, and it looked like both of them were holding to the left in that. Done and done. Travis taking the first game commandingly. I think Spamclop has been going all chic today, so if he is willing to stick with that, I want to see how he can adapt to this play and really put Bowser in a bigger disadvantage. But it is not going to be the case. He's going to go Zero Suit Samus. Alright. I think this is another character I've seen Connor play quite a bit as well. Not as much in tournament, of course, the Mario McLeod shine for him a lot. He's going to take us to Triplats. Let's go. Let's go ZSS on Chocolates. <laughs> right. A lot of patient movement from Spam Cop. Overcommitting on that dash check, whatever, but mostly trying to play outside of Bowser's space and get a good spot for himself. 33%, outspacing him with the back air. Doing it again, drop off the platform. Nice. Good grab right there, actually, actually gets him in shield. Trying to, Travis trying to get some station control. Ah, okay. Neutral getup is the mix-up versus ZSS, not the uh, common option, because ZSS can cover ledge really well, especially in the position of where you would get up in neutral getup. Especially with that down smash paralyzer. Really good for doing so. Hey, I'm about commanding Rachel so far in this first stock of the second game. Playing just outside of Bowser's reach really well. Right, good read from Travis there. He's gonna get some good percent there. And stock! Stock! Called it. I called it. Also the day yeah, the gods, yes. There, there is no red spark if he died. That's insane. Okay. Now Travis has the lead despite all the work Spam Cop has done to play completely out of his, out of himself. Really good on Travis to start that momentum off the whole read away. Recognizing that Spam Cop just wants to stay away from him. 
right? He gets the punish right there. That was a force high, really gonna be having trouble even landing to a ledge. Perfect pressure. Nice use of power shielding. Alright, paralyzer? No, okay, nothing else set up there. Spam Pup getting a bit more aggressive here. This adaptation working well. Stuffed out by the dash attack, he covers all that. That was actually a pretty good aggressive choice in that situation. Jump out of shield, recognizing he wants that grab. And the up air on shield, that's gonna do it. Travis up 2-0 in this get set. Well done. What's it gonna take for Spamcop to take him back down? Is he gonna end up going the cloud? I can't. Mario, I could see. Spamcop's actually gonna stick with the Zero Suit, which the Zero Suit was working better for him, absolutely. He had, he had much better adaptation than the Sheik did for Sister Bowser. And just like you saw at the beginning of the first game, he's really taking advantage of Travis more than anything. Okay, good start. <laughs> mm -hmm. On the approach is Travis right now. But first he has to find a way out of this situation that he is in right now, these platforms really heavily against him this game so far. They were very assistive in the last game for him. CSX? No. <laughs> okay. Don't very much. Alright. Shield is winding down on Bowser a little bit. The Paralyzer opens up there. 30% on the drop kick. Cross up on the DI. The backer does not kill, however. Very careful does Spam Cup have to be on their aggression on Shield. A good poke right there, catching the Nuji get up. It's going to take the stop. Right on. This is. Uh... I think the first time Spam Cop has had the lead, and it's going to be ta almost taken away from there. CSS recovery options not limiting her at all, and allowing her to go really high there to recover. Okay, up tilt on shield. Let's jump out. Using the flip kick. Reposition himself. Flip kick is a really good move to use to get out of a disadvantageous spot as well. Just another option that afforded to the table. The positions you away quickly from the opponents. Alright, good string there. How about really capitalizing off that bonus? Timing on the grab there again. Even though Bowser has the stage control, it's the most predictable to go into a defensive option. Like, take advantage of that. Back airs on shield harassing Bowser. Good choice there. The Whirling Fortress. Porter catches him flip kicking to the platform. Recognizing that approach really and reacting accordingly. Travis does survive the back air, forced to recover low, roll behind there. It's actually like remembering the situation here. Spam has to be extremely careful about how he attacks shield. Wow, okay. Despite that, really good Koopa Paw there. Doesn't matter on that sense. The upper is going to do it out of the Koopa. Travis actually brings that back incredibly well. Moving on to win his finals. Good stuff.